And it looks like it has no anti-alias in. This is a 10 megahertz uh, input signal here. And if we turn down the time base, oh, start to see the wobblies. Oh, she's coming to guts her. The wheels are falling off the billy cart. And, well, I don't think our signal is that frequency. And we can even measure that there. <laughs> One hertz. Yeah, nah. Yeah, nah. Let's turn that back up. There we go. 10 megahertz. No worries. But hey, Roden Schwartz will do that too. There you go. Um, 8.16 hertz. <laughs> but you won't get that on a Keysight 3000, even at 2 seconds per division. You will get it on a tech though. There you go. 100 milliseconds per division. Whoa. This Siglin Jobby at least makes it look funky at one time base, but if we go down one more, 100 milliseconds, oh, there we go, we've come a gutsa. So it looks like uh, the Keysight's the only one that's uh, doing the anti aliasing thing here. Ah, uh, GW Instec, doing the same thing. Look at that. <laughs> Except it can't even trigger.